the legend, the legacy award winner, Andy <laughs> Kellner. Um, we'll get to that question later for those who are kind of behind you know, what we're talking about. But um, our readers are really excited about this story. Um, they consider Andy Kellner to be, like I said, a legend, like an icon figure. Everybody loves you. So we just really wanted to kind of capture the story to kind of get this idea of how would you get from, you know, where you were to like here, your entrepreneurial background, business, um, just really want to capture the story for our readers. So the best place to start is kind of the beginning, like how did you get your start in tobacco? <laughs> 50 years ago. Okay, um, you know, my other family work in Cuba. My father and his three brothers started to work very young, very young, and started to work in Amsterdam, Holland. He said, John died, maybe Claire. But my father and <clears throat> the older brother got to the medical department to work at the back. It's basically for uh, raw material to export. My father, uh, my, my aunt, the oldest, in 1925, my father in 1923, only with 19 years ago. The other two brothers go to Brazil to work at the back and the same with raw material to Asia, to Europe, Asia to Europe. Later, my cousin, the son of my own, worked at tobacco. Some in Brazil, not in the Dominican Republic, all over in Paraguay, and Indonesia. Finally, we have in the family seven companies compete for the same market. And you know, and you suppose that I create family pro. Seven company and the family work for the same market. And my father advised me to say, Hank, I like to rock in the tradition of the family. No work in tobacco. Stood it and no work at the back. I created many problems with the family. My father died, very job, 48 years. I, I have only 70 years. And I decided to follow the advice of my father. I go to study in the university, I graduate in Monterrey, Mexico, in Water, in Indiana. When I come back to the American public, my idea is to work in any company, not in the bank company. I'm trying to look at a job in a different form. But I don't know what happened, something always happened that I don't finally take the, uh, the employer. People like me and say, okay, come, but something happened. And one day, the president of the bigger company of tobacco, the bigger Republic, made cigarette, Tabacalera, Mr. Amon, very good friend of my father. He invited me to talk and he forced me to take an employee in the tobacco business. That was in 1969. 1969. And very fast, that company produced cigars from 1901. But they decided to not continue to produce cigars. I very fast growing in the company. In eight years, I was the general manager of the company, with only 32 years. And I decided to open 
524 to New Zealand, one location and one quarter. QA continued with the whole brand of the company for the local market. That was in 1979. And that, in that moment, I started my passion for Sudan. It was a small part of the company, but I liked it. I was my passion. And later, in 1984, I decided to make independent and create a very small factory, Tabadon, in February 1984. Only with six robots, I don't have money for more. Yeah. With the contribution of all my family, I make dozens the money. And growing too fast. My first cigar I made in that company was Griffin. The owner of the group Griffin, a very famous club in Geneva, uh, very famous people. His member, he decided to make a cigar for the club, the Griffin Club. And that started only in Switzerland, in Jerusalem, but later in the USA. The USA. Especially when Dublin opened a store in Madison, New York. 1987, uh, 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 in that, in that, in that story. Then <coughs> we start a director with some relation with that. I don't know nothing about that. Nothing, I don't know the owner, but at that store we sell. That was the, uh, my experience in the market. Later, of course, the company grew and made another brand, uh, Apple, uh, Ashton, and finally, these three cigars, Ashton. I will believe it was the best seller for that store. That is it. I will That's how the story started. But um, what's interesting is when Davroff moved from Cuba. But this is a yeah. question. Okay, that is true. Do you have a question for that one? Yeah. Um, I guess my, my question was so, is Griffin like the first cigar you? Ever created? What was what was that cigar? No, that was the cigar that I create in my company with the experience that I take in the factory that we create for Tabacare. But I know was completely bored in the cigars because I I was a general manager of the company. I don't have time to take much time that I like it to, to, to the cigar business. But my passion was that. My passion was that. Real, when I created my small company, then I created that, the, the grief. So my experience in, in that cigar and that cigar factory, but two, and my experience in the cigar business. So, how did your relationship with Dad Bob start? ¿Cómo comenzó tu relación con Dad Bob? Well, when David decided to move to Cuba, they have problems with Cuba. Any problem, water problem, supply problem. And that difficult period of Cuba, then Dr. Schneider, the owner, David, they don't have too much option. The only country in that time that produced 
prestige to God was the medical performance. They don't have any. At that time, it's an hour of rural stuff. My first contact with Dr. Snyder was Bernagro Bay, the owner of Griffin. Because at that time, Davido made a deal with Bernagro Bay to, to take the distribution to Griffin worldwide. And they made the contract. At that time, Dominican Republic had six factories they they captured. Two of the factories, a very two big factories, two big factories with with brand, with distribution, and another two not too big but with uh, owner of brand and distribution, and that is not not too much interest to look at Snyder to make the cigars in that time. My fact with them alone was different because for the beginning I decided to, to use the AM factory concentrate only in the quality of the tobacco. No create brand, no lose effort in money and marketing concentrate only and, and produce tobacco. Create a, my, my dream was create a vertical entry for, for control and And that was the perfect match. Ottinger W. And that and that is a company only distribution. They don't know nothing about tobacco. They have only the truth. And the balloon is only in production, and that was the perfect match. Was a, one of the reasons that they select my company for to use WC. Another reason I think is important too. At that time, that would have a store in New York. And the three brands, the three cigars, but the best seller. A more high price of this store was Abo, Griffin, and Ash, a weekly And they said something happened, something good made Hanky that the three cigars at that store he made that. For that reason, I think, was the reason why they chose you. Eh? Why they chose you eh, for. He decided. Then, you know, he told me about the style, some sample, price. And one day, he invited me to a breakfast in New York. And he started. I suppose that we continue to talk. For surprise for me, he gave me an order for 125,000 dollars for USA. Mm-hmm. Yes. Three months later, they sent I have a meet with a lot of check, and they sent a bill of wood a piece of cigars and say that is the cigar I like to do my friend. They don't know too much about green day or something like that. But it's and in this moment, they give me an order for three million cigars. Imagine. In 1989, my company produced 2.7 million. And I will have an order of three million cigars. Imagine the effort they need to, to produce three million more cigars. And additional at that, Dr. Snyder was very precise in quality and quality control. We need to change this tradition of quality control to renew quality control more than strength. I remember the first week of production with that control, 46% of the cigars, they know they don't have 
they, uh, they know have the quality of that system. Of course, we can wait with, with training the people and finally we maintain that. And then, uh, one of the reasons of that was that we don't pack the cigars. We send the cigars and go, they pack it in prison. That means the cigars need a exactly size for fix the box. And, and that was a weird start to work in that way. In 1990, January, we started to produce cigars for that way. The first chip was Bureau, the USA. Not only 25,000 cigars. On you know, there is a, a, a history that for me at that time, cigars used cell phones. When I see the order, the, the first one of the five thousand cigars, I know, know that it's a cigar with South Cell. I will send the cigar with Cell. And we tell the cigars and in March, the day after March, the Dr. Tyler called me April and said, Dr. Tyler, I'm making this day. And so you see how I'm going to tell you. Then you come to the house and you tell him. He we made this day too. We like the cigar, we sell the fun. You just talked about a lot of the different brands that our readers and the retailers and consumers like that you work Helped work on like Abbo and um, you've done the Winston Churchill line. Is there a particular line or project that stands out in your career so far? Si hay una línea de cigarros, una marca de cigarros, que tú dices, esta es la que más me ha gustado, es la que con la que yo más me identifico. For me. And I have so many questions. Feel for what's going on. Puro de oro. Puro de oro. We get puro de oro 100% of the minimum. Total. With a round of the other side, my friend. And this is a special uh, cigar. And in any place that I go to make a band worldwide, always. At least once that I said, thank you, you broke my heart. You broke my heart but, uh, because uh, uh, my favorite cigar was a good one. Now, my favorite cigar is a Mosa. And number two, with the two Chilea. With the two Chilea, they are different. Close. I like books, I like books. But in Yamasa is it's a special because the, I send the mention to the world eh, the, how much work I make to create the best flower in the world in Yamasa. That's a sentimental. Uh, I remember when the, the press release came out about the Yamasa and I was just like my goodness, like it just took like a, a you just you mean you could like read the press release and feel like all the work, like all the thought and process and the consideration that went into that one cigar and made you appreciate it, whether you were a uh, experienced enthusiast or, or whether you you know are just you know, into cigars, like you just knew that that was like a special project, a special release and of work and the love that went into it. The Mosa is a difficult life. When I look for a place to go in love, I tried before. Many years ago. Uh, before the Mosa, I walk into that, and that, go to the factory. I feel it's a less work, less problem. But you know, the quality of life, Marvel. But something happened. Something, no, no matter what happened in that day, 
and we so so we destroy the human. I I feel that God saved me and give me a message. Hey, keep move. This is another place. Look for another place. And I look at a place. First, I look at the condition, human condition, rain, rain uh, condition. I look for Yamasa outside, out of the normal, the traditional area of the, of the But the soil is completely different because the soil, that's more body comes from the mountain when we have all the mineral in the mission of all the silver, the gold, the iron, and the nickel. And that means the soil has a lot of mineral. And that gives that a special place for them. But that's the problem. So the pH is too all low. We need to increase the pH every year before the crop. Calcium, this is And it's a but the things of the of the of the land is in the soil. We need to look the way for liberate that 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 things. Finally, we have now fifty crop. We have many many different years in the beginning, but. And some people that try to grow in the massage, they want to grow, to grow, they are saying no, it's impossible. But nothing is impossible. When you are, when you decide, you have passion, you look the way. And mistake for me is make a lot. Another step. Another step for the success. More to tell you learn more. You learn more, more, more. And finally we understand the soil. The soil was a difficult but finally we find the way to quality. Now the bond was the virus, um, and you talked about this a few minutes ago. Um, a big part of it is the quality and consistency. So how do you keep delivering that year after year, different variables going into the crops? How do you do that? <laughs> yes. No. First, you need to make a position, a declaration. It's a concept. A concept is the plan is not a formula. A formula with a different conclusion of tobacco. Maybe that is the blame today. But the real blame is we create in any way a graph for a stimulation, intensive stimulation in a different area in the side. And that graph is the blame. And you try to maintain that graph. You don't need to you if you maintain the formula. Year by year, you change the plan. It's why? Because crop by crop, it's different. Depends on rain, depends on how, how much sun it has. And you need to rebalance the plan. When sun doesn't do tobacco in the plan, finish. You need to rebalance to maintain the same graph, the same. Intensive of stimulation of the We You observe, we, observe, we dominate 10 different factors in tobacco for the final composition of the soil. The first four factors soil, second, seed. The chemical and physical composition of the soil for one seed. Like even the typical type of stimulation for that. In order to the level of strength, the position in the plant, and of course the crop. You can control 
Nikon. They are what control you can control is the weather. That year by year, the, the, the composition of the leaf is different. And you need to realize that. You observe our bed on the back, they have a goal of one number. One number is the soil, another is the sea, another is the position, and another is the crop. And we have information. No difficult, no complex. It's not a complex. They are no genius. They are no genius part of them. The genius is the inventory. All that you have inventory, enough inventory, you can maintain a consistent. Because you don't have inventory, you don't have option to maintain the same place. Of course, you made a, a new formula according with the crop, normally it's a one part of the plant, and finish, and you can use it. Normally, the same seed and the same soil, different crop, and you decide to make a different proportion or move for a different position, and the leaf and the plant, the paint of the, of the crop, it's not too difficult. Of course, you need to make different prototypes. Because, like you know, you need to taste for know what is the more close for the cigar you make today. And for the next two months, finish one part of the tobacco you create the new play, the new play. And the most important, the most important is maintain the level of strength. Every smoker knows his level of strength. If they have a small difference in the acid area, in the sweet area, they don't know that. But the level of strength, everybody knows what is the level of strength. Just an explanation of how this is our next question. I think a lot of people in the industry consider you to be the master of tobacco. Um, you have knowledge beyond a lot of people. Do you consider yourself a master of tobacco? Clear, real, I prefer to say I am like that. Master is a big thing. When you say master, you need to know everything. You need to know so you need to know about genetic capacity of the seed. You need to know um, agriculture practice. You need to know what happened in the curing process, what happened in the fermentation process. So many, many, many things. I know they have something, but matter is a big thing. It's a big thing to know uh, everything. A plan with some knowledge, experience, and now I have it. For the you of experience and passion is important and loyalty. Loyalty to the consumer. That is the word. The consumer is my friend. They pay my salary. I pay my salary. I don't see why it's I said, friend, you are my friend. You are my friend. You are my friend. nine years and he's still not a master. But that's good. I mean, but a lot of entrepreneurs kind of get, I mean, when you talk to entrepreneurs, I found that some of the best ones kind of say, they don't always say, it, like, I know everything I need to know about my craft. There's always something else to learn, and there's always more to kind of build on.